keep pace with testing Microsoft Dynamics 365 releases. Microsoft Dynamics 365 are introducing biannual major releases. This is great as this means more new features and regular innovation will be coming to us as users. But most testing of ERP and CRM applications is still a manual process. Manual testing is far too slow to react to the rate of change we face with every new release. Every time a new release is made, testers must identify the tests that have been impacted by a change, update them, create new tests and then execute the entire test suite to assure the release is stable. ERP applications are usually mission critical systems that are at the heart of the business. It is vital they are tested and maintained appropriately to ensure they are defect free and completely operational. In this demo we'll be looking at a way to rapidly test Dynamics 365 applications using test automation. We're going to be modeling complex Dynamics processes using reusable components that can automate Dynamics testing. We're going to be generating the perfect set of tests to assure your Dynamics processes are tested rigorously and impacted components are still operational after each upgrade. We'll be using drag and drop components to build automated tests for your Dynamics processes for both the new unified interface and also legacy applications. So let's jump in and take a look. In this video, we're going to be focusing on the sales module of Dynamics 365. Specifically, we're going to be focusing on creating new leads and testing this portion of our functionality. The test modeler allows you to create a visual flowchart of how your Dynamics 365 process works. On the right hand side here, you can see our out of the box components we have for automating our Dynamics 365 application. There are actions in here like performing logins, doing lookups, entering data into dialogues, navigating through the dashboards and all the common Dynamics 365 automation actions you may need. Here we have a model we made earlier for creating both valid leads and invalid leads in our Dynamics application. What you'll see here is we've modeled out the different scenarios of topics we can have with associated test data and the same with the other attributes in our lead generation form. When it comes to a name, we have an interesting value here, which if we take a look, you'll see has a little expression in. This is where we can overlay rich sets of synthetic data to start injecting into your Dynamics application. We can also utilize formulas in here as well as conditional logic, which is important when you're dealing with processes and you want to assert the calculations are correct. Here we have a model with the different attributes we're gonna enter for our lead generation. What you'll also see as we're going through here on top of the model, is we have our Dynamics 365 automation embedded here to set certain fields with values. Here we have one for the title, the first name, the last name, the title, and the email. And we either end up with a positive lead or a negative lead. Once I have my model with my Dynamics automation, which has been created out of the box, all I have to do is come in, hit the generate button, and that will generate for me the minimum number of tests to maximize coverage across the model. What you'll see here are the different scenarios that I can walk my way through my lead generation screen. Once a model is created, it can be embedded inside a much bigger process. Here, to get our test moving, we have added another little model to perform a login, and then another model here to navigate through our dashboard to go to the leads page before eventually we go in and start to create a lead. This is a very powerful feature, especially when you think about your Dynamics 365 application which can often have very complex business processes and you have to, to walk through a number of screens to complete a process. Within Test Modeler, you will break that problem down into as smaller chunks as possible, create a model for each screen or process and then link them together to make the end-to-end -end process that you need. Exactly the same as before, all I then need to do is come in here, hit the generate button and that will generate for me my different scenarios through this process always giving me the optimal set of test cases, which is the minimum number to maximize coverage. Now what we can do is we can go off, we can export this into our CI infrastructure, and we can execute our tests. Now, it's often the case that our applications will change release to release. Traditionally, with test automation, I would have to go through my test scripts, figure out which ones need updating, and then update them appropriately. With Test Modeler, all I have to do is come in and edit my model to add additional steps or modify the logic appropriately. Here we'll just add in a new age field and we'll connect this up as so. 
Now all I need to do is save my model. I can come back to my master flow here and just do a quick little refresh. And what you'll see is that these changes have been propagated across everywhere this flow is referenced. Now all I need to do is regenerate my tests and all the automation will be updated as an artifact of this regeneration. Instead of maintaining hundreds if not thousands of scripts, all I need to do is maintain a few models in one central repository. Thanks for watching this video. Visit testmodeler.io to start your free trial today.